There are three main after effects of blocking a move. Block stun, push back, and chip damage in case of special moves. Along with that, your tension gauge and risk gauge also increase in value. Today's tip is about pushback, that is the amount of spacing that is created between attacker and defender when a defender blocks a move. Pushback exists both when an attack hits and when it is blocked. Guilty Gear Strive uses a so-called Gatling combo system in which attacks chain into one another. For example, you can crouch and punch several times to create a multi-hitting combo. Pushback on hit and on block ensures that you cannot chain crouching punches indefinitely into one another. So by blocking a move, you create spacing between you and your opponent, enabling you to have a breathing space and returning the fight back to neutral. Now there are two ways you can increase the amount of pushback on block. First one is using the faultless defense mechanic and the other one is using stand blocking instead of crouch blocking. In this tip, we'll focus on the second one. In demonstration, we use a simple combo of Kai, close slash, far slash into special move, die clear. In the first scenario, Soul is crouch blocking. Now as we can see here, after the close slash and heavy slash hit, pushback created is not enough, enabling the special move die clear to hit. And as a result, Soul goes into the shock state which gives Kai an upper hand. Now in comparison to that, if Soul is stand blocking, the pushback after the first two hits that is the close slash and far slash is quite large and it results in die clear move whiffing instead of connecting with Soul. Surprisingly, you get the same amount of pushback even when you're getting hit. So, although it is advised to crouch block all the time, stand blocking in certain situations instead can save you from the trouble. An advanced strategy is to switch from crouch blocking to stand blocking on the fly to give the same effect as if you were stand blocking all the time. Go to practice mode and experiment with different characters and see how the different amounts of pushback can result in different outcomes when you're crouch blocking versus stand blocking. That's it for today's tip. Be sure to subscribe for more.